you start the engines from here. Engaging gears. Leaving the jetty now. Here's a rare sight. An 11 meter long vessel called the Bravo. Cruising the sea without a pilot. Well, not exactly. Behind the scenes, production manager Matthew Tracy has his hands on the wheel and is in full control. The vessel we can actually put on basically autopilot, which is the same on other, other big vessels where you can plan a route. The industrial port of Musafa is the new testing ground for this emerging industry, formerly known as unmanned surface vessels, fully loaded with sensors. It's purely on the sensors that go onto the vessel, above surface, below surface. Our control systems are there. It's purely on what sensors you put on. It can give you a wide, wide range of uh, potential that, that it can do. On the Arabian Peninsula, security tops a list of potential roles. A driverless vessel can comb a coastline on duty around the clock to be on the lookout for trouble. With subsurface technology, these boats can be used for oil exploration and in the future to set sail to the far corners of the earth to support marine science. Customers from Asia to the US are paying three and a half to seven million dollars per boat. This is what a modernizing Abu Dhabi economy is starting to look like, bringing the best in international technology, marrying it with a local partner, and then going globally with an innovative product. That is where principal engineer Aditya Nawab and the team from partner 5G International come in. We spoke to a lot of companies around the world and all they wanted to do was ink agreements. In a year we saw the infrastructure from Alcia Marine, the commitment to actually go through the R&D projects and to deliver a working model of something that uh, it's still not available out there in the market. Nawab takes me on board the Bravo to show me how the technology works in action. This is the course that's been mapped out for us? That's right. We'll be going from waypoint number one to two to three and back. So once we're in the harbor, it, then it's on its own? It's on its own. It's completely on its own. Over the next hour, we take the boat through its paces, a simulation of a boat wanting to potentially attack. So Bravo spotted the... the Bravo vessel. spotted me, altered its course to avoid it, and think of them as pirates coming towards us, and it's still going to alter course. Test mission accomplished. As we cruise back to base, the next goal will be tackling the global marketplace. John Defterius, CNN, Abu Dhabi.